Welcome to another one of my videos. So let's say we've got a sequence of statement or a set of statement that we want to repeat um, several times uh, based on that until a path condition is met or in a particular number of times. Um, how do we go back to achieve this? We will be making use um, of the our statement, the for statement, or the do while statement from the control structure sequence. And then pick out of it, you've got a pick or the continuum um, statement options that can be used as well. So let's look at a typical example. Say um, we flow in this flow, we start the application or plugin our Arduino, and we initialize a variable say x to be zero. So value of x is zero and then we just want to count or increment the value of x by any step in times so basically we first of all perform a conditional check on the value of x is to x um, less than is it less than 10 if yes we want to basically print out the value of x and then increment the value of X as well, so we start zero. S zero is less than ten, and the value of X and increment will be one. One is less than ten. Go through the stages, repeat itself until nine, and it increment. And the next step is not less than ten, so it will be no. And then you go all the way and print finish want to execute this six um this loop only once so we just put it in the um setup function and hence the loop function which is loop of one itself see it in code so first off we want to try to use the file well, if you like it you should have the um format there so we've got well, the condition the statement that we want to run then we put it in the in close brace so we have this basic step setup and then loop and then we initialize the value we um, define x as well and in in the setup function we want to make use of zero print to visualize the output so zero begin and it's an odd rate of 1650. Let's initialize up to this point, this is zero. And the next stage is when we want to increment the value of x. So we say, well, and what is the condition? The condition is if x is less than. What statement do we want to do? We want to print some things and at the end of everything, increment the value x to be by one. We can say s plus plus or x plus equals one. Or just go plus go away, it equals x plus one. So to print out, we use serial print. So we've got serial print and first of all we want to print x x, h, x equals then afterwards print the actual value of x for the print line or print x and then increment that one So we start the simulation serial monitor, zoom in a little bit, and run the simulation. An error, so while missing an edge, that there, clean up, run the simulation, and then as I said, let's run in it again. For run as expected, we have x equals zero, runs the first time, when it's in zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and when it gets to nine, it stops. 
So what we want to do is when the while loop stop, we want to print finished or done. So while x equal to is less than 10, we want that to happen. And if not, we just going to want to print zero print. Follow, print is finished, and that's all it goes into the loop. I'm doing that, and so clear the screen. Let's do zero print line instead. Grab this one. So as the finish is finished, and then it goes into the loop and gets stuck in there doing that. That's how we use the while loop. Um, as long as the condition is not is not is met, the condition is not met, the while loop will execute. And as long as the condition is met, the while loop will execute.